Hello, my name's Stuart, and today we're going to unbox the Nokia E72. Um, this is the Nokia E72 in its box to begin with. Now, obviously, it's iron behind everything down the bottom, and it's opening up um, just all cardboard on this one. First thing, as with all the Nokias that I've unboxed recently, uh, first thing you get is the phone, and only the phone. So we'll just drop that out of its case. And we'll come back and do a quick tour of the phone as it is. Um, but first impressions are it looks like a very smart uh, sort of finish on there. But we'll come back and look at that properly in a minute. What else you get in the box? Um, well, there's a small cardboard fold out. We'll just take that out. And then under here, there's a, like a door to open up there. Now, in there, you have a, an array of uh, accessories. First off, we'll unbox the. Uh, Headset. Now, this has the uh, normal in ear earphones, but it doesn't have the bud. And one thing to note is this white seal around the outside does have a selection of different sizes, so you can make it fit for you. It's always very handy. It has um, a volume, a hold, and a call answer control on it. Um, small clip to clip it to you. One thing to note is the earphones and the control don't break apart, but it is a normal headphone socket, so you can add any existing headsets or uh, earphones to it. Apart from the uh, headset, you have a short data cable. This has the small USB on one end and the uh, computer large USB on the other. Um, this is also the same size as they're going to be using for the charger. We'll show you that in a moment. In here as well, you have a case. Um, inside here, so we can open this up. So you have a case to put the phone in, and it goes in sideways. And obviously, the first time it's been used, so it's quite a tight fit. We'll come back to that in a sec. And we have a small, uh, like a wrist strap, which will connect to the phone. I'll show you where that connects later on. In here is where we have our uh, phone charger, a small pin charger, like some of the, uh, it's like the older Nokia's. Um, I'll show you where that goes in later on. And one thing to note is that as you've opened up this extra door at the bottom where the charge is hidden, the battery's hidden down the side here. So don't go thinking that the battery hasn't been included, it's just hidden away in the box. Now underneath this cardboard assembly is a compartment at the back where all your manuals and books are kept. So it's a three part you see there. You have the phone on the top, this part here for the charger, and this part here for all the other accessories. And all the manuals are tucked down the bottom. What we'll do just now is just give you a quick tour of the phone itself. We'll take it out of the case that we just managed to squeeze it into. Like I say, it's uh, going to be a tight fit because it is the first time it's been put in there. That will loosen up. Now, one interesting thing on the back of the phone is uh, this design here. If you can hear that, there's an engraved uh, design on the back of here and it has the Nokia E series engraved on there as well. Now, whilst that does look very good, it's also very handy for keeping it in your hand. It's not going to slide out because the engraving on there gives it some grip. Um, on the front of the phone, you've got a full QWERTY keypad. You have your uh, 1 to 0 for your dial normal dialing. Here you have an optical trackpad. And then you have your menu buttons and other function buttons at the top here, your make and receive calls and your accepting buttons. On the top here is where your on off switch is next to your headphone jack. On the sides you have your USB and your memory card slot. On the bottom, just here, is where you're going to connect the uh, uh, wrist strap that I showed you. And there is where the charger goes. On this side here, you have three convenience keys which will obviously be used for the camera and volume up and down or zoom depending on uh, what function you're using. 
As you can see, it's a very, very slim phone. And uh, yeah, the, the overall weight is not too heavy. Uh, so it is, even though it's a reasonably large phone in this dimension, it, you're not going to notice it as being a very big phone. In the palm of my hand, it is quite small. Um, the only other thing to point out is on the back, you have your camera. It's a five megapixel camera, um, which is, again, very good for a smartphone. And given the thickness of the phone, the fact that they can fit a five megapixel in there is quite impressive. So that is the Nokia E72 and everything that comes in the box.